Welcome to Valle So, a sponsoring farm of flowers for kids. We're in Mulalo, the province, province of Cotabaxi, about an hour and 15 minutes south of Quito. I'm here with my friend Francisco Arteto, who's the general manager of Valle de Sol. And we're in this unusual position to show you the height of the wood above us. Francisco, take it away. <laughs> Hola, Pierre. ¿Cómo te sientes trabajando en esa altura? Bien, bien. Bien, porque es, es, es cómodo. Es como si estuvieras andando ya mucho más práctica. Y es como si estuviese andando así normal, básicamente. Perfecto. ¿Te facilita el trabajo? Sí, porque si estuviera abajo en el piso, como decíamos, sí está muy, muy alto esto. Perfecto. Y para agacharles igual se me quedaría por acá y se me romperían los tallos. Y estando acá, aún así no alcanzo casi mucho, pero tengo que virarles un poco para, para poderles alcanzar a las yemas y dejarles también. Cuando se quedan virados también ya podemos dejarles así bien para que no se fuerza la vida. Perfecto. Muchas gracias, Piedad. <laughs> Welcome to Valdesol. Uh, we are located in uh, Mulaló, Cotopaxi. We are at 10,000 feet above the sea level, about, uh, about uh, 3,000 meters. And uh, we are going to show you some uh, different way to grow flowers, grow roses. It is an hydroponic system. It helps us uh, uh, to avoid contaminating the soil. And it grows uh, uh, very long stems, uh, very good quality of roses. It uh, goes uh, from about uh, half a meter above the, the soil in order to ventilate and uh, get uh, rid of uh, a lot of uh, pesticides that goes along uh, when it gets uh, con uh, contact with, uh, with the soil. So it helps to grow uh, healthier and long stems roses. Francisco tells us these plants are about five years old. Everything is on a drip irrigation system to control the water and th there's no waste of any water here. We are going to try to explain to you how we use this tank. We burn here uh, some wood and also green material um, taken from the roses. The idea is to create a huge cloud of smoke that covers the, the whole greenhouse and that blocks the uh, infrared rays uh, and uh, keeps them here in the, inside the, the greenhouse. That helps us uh, to control the, the weather the, uh, the temperature here sometimes goes uh, below the freezing point and we try to control that in order to avoid damage to the roses. We are, uh, uh, we are incorporating compost on our soil. We, it's made out of organic material uh, taken out of the roses. Uh, it helps us to save on uh, fertilizers. We, do, we use this organic material in order to um, feed uh, the plants. Here, uh, very thankful for the people with us. Viva 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 Viva. Here we do the trials in order to check up for uh, pests and uh, all things that could uh, avoid to have a good quality of flowers. We do it every time. And here we have the flower ready for packing. You can see the, how beautiful they are, the colors intensity and the quality of our flowers. We have uh, 35 varieties of roses, different colors, different type of reds, in order to satisfy all the markets. This is our four carpet, our selection. Hola, Manuel Carmen. This is the way we grade the roses by size. And we can check uh, to be consistent in the openness of the rose also. here in Valdezol about 115 employees and 70% of them are women actually and we are very glad of it. Uh, about uh, every hour we take all the people and exercise running around the, the building in order to get the get stress out of the, their bodies and uh, help the concentration for a good productivity of them. 
And uh, this is a very nice bunch of girls that we have around here.